Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a cinematic slideshow in VSTC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a cinematic slideshow in VSTC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported six different images in the editor and I've placed them one after the other in the timeline as you can see right here. Now the first thing which we will do is we will properly align all these six images. So what you need to do first is click on the second image from the bottom and we will place this second image at one second in the timeline. So look inside the properties window and inside the time option write 01.000 and then press enter now click on the third image from the bottom and we will place this third image at two seconds in the timeline so once again look inside the properties window inside the time option write 02.000 and then press enter similarly click on the fourth image inside the time option write 03.000 and then press enter click on the fifth image inside the time option write 04.000 and then press enter and finally click on the sixth and final image and inside the time option write 05.000 and then press enter now what we will do next is we will increase the duration of the bottom five images and um, as you can see my first image ends at five seconds in the timeline it starts at zero seconds and it ends at five seconds so i would like to increase the duration and i would like my first image to end at 10 seconds similarly I would like my second image to end at 10 seconds as well. And I would like my third image to end at 10 seconds as well. So let me just increase its duration to 10 seconds like this. And I would like my fourth image to end at 10 seconds as well. Let me just let me just increase its duration to 10 seconds like this and finally I would like my fifth image to end at 10 seconds as well perfect all right now the next thing which we will do is we will zoom out our images and we will add borders around our image and we will also rotate our image a little bit so first double click on the first image from the bottom and first let's zoom our image zoom out our image so go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on click on ok now look inside the zoom settings which is present inside the properties window and you will find this levels option where currently the value is 100 percent so delete this value and write 70 and then press enter and as you can see I've successfully zoomed out my image and what I would like to do next is I would like to add border around this particular image so go to video effects go to transparency select borders and then click on OK now look inside the border settings which is present inside the properties window inside mode currently transparent is selected so click on this drop down list and select solid inside color a particular color is selected but i want my border color to be white so click on this three dots which is present right here select the white color and then click on ok and let me just increase the border size as well so currently the border size is 8 pixels so let me just increase it to somewhere around 20 pixels perfect perfect and what we will do 
next is we will rotate our image a little bit just to tilt it a little bit so go to video effects go to transforms select rotate and then click on ok now look inside the rotate settings which is present inside the properties window inside rotate angles currently 30 degree is there so delete this value and write 5 and then press enter all right perfect now what we will do next is we will select all these three effects so let me just select all these three effects like this and let me just press ctrl c to copy them and go back to the main editing timeline now double click on the second image from the bottom and press ctrl v perfect and um, the duration of each of my effect is 10 seconds but the duration of my second image is 9 seconds so i need to reduce the duration of my effects to 9 seconds so let me just do that and once you reduce the duration of your effects to 9 seconds now what we will do is we will rotate our image a little differently than what we did for our first image so look inside the rotate settings which is present inside the properties window after you click on the rotate effect which is present at the top and inside rotate angles currently the value is 5 degree so i would like to change this to 355 degrees and then press enter perfect so now as you can see there is a little distinction between my first image and my second image and currently the second image is visible on screen all right now okay let's go back to the main editing timeline now double click on the third image from the bottom once again press ctrl v to paste the effects and once again we will decrease the value of all the effects to 8 second because the duration of my third image in the timeline is 8 seconds and um, click on the rotate effect and we will rotate this third image a little differently so that it is visible um, so that the distinction is visible so look inside the rotate settings which is present inside the properties window and you will find this rotate angles present right here so let me just change the value from 5 to let's say 6 or maybe not let me just write let's say 4 okay let me just write 3 yes so distinction is clearly visible or maybe let me just write two okay yeah now the distinction is clearly visible we can see that there are three photos on the screen clearly and this looks nice all right now let's go back to the main editing timeline double click on the fourth image from the bottom press ctrl v shorten the duration of the effects to 7 seconds because the duration of my fourth image in the timeline is 7 seconds now click on the rotate effect and look inside the rotate settings inside rotate angles currently 5 degree is there so delete this value and let's write let's say 358 and then press enter all right perfect let's go back to the main editing timeline double click on the fifth image from the bottom press ctrl v to paste the effects decrease the duration of the effects to six seconds because the duration of my fifth image in the timeline is six seconds and now click on the rotate effect and look inside the rotate settings 
inside rotate angles currently 5 degrees is there so delete this value and let's write let's say um, let's say 7 maybe 7 is a bit too much let me just write 1 all right one looks fine perfect now once again let's go back to the main editing timeline double click on the sixth and final image from the bottom which is also at the top and uh, double click on the sixth image press ctrl v to paste the effects decrease the duration of the effects to five seconds because the duration of the sixth image in the timeline is five seconds and click on the rotate effect and look inside the rotate settings and inside rotate angles currently the value is 5 degrees so delete this value and write let's say 359 and then press enter perfect all right now we are almost done one final thing which we need to do now is okay let me just quickly play this video for you from the start so this is how things are looking right now all these six images are kind of coming up one on top of the other on screen all right now what we will do is we will zoom out our screen like this and i would like to add movement to my images so double click on the first image from the bottom and we will add a movement so first of all i would like to place this image outside the screen like this and i would like to now go to add object go to movement click on movement and then click on ok now move this image from outside the screen towards the center of the screen like this and if you look on the timeline the end point is set at 10 seconds so you need to move this end point of the movement object from 10 seconds to one second so place it at one second so place it place this end point of the movement object at one second perfect and now let me just quickly play the video perfect all right now we just need to repeat the process so let's go back to the main editing timeline double click on the second image from the bottom and place the cursor at the beginning of the image and now let me just place this second image at this particular position outside the screen go to add object go to movement click on movement and then click on ok now move the second image from this initial position to this particular position on screen move the end point from 9 seconds to 1 second in the timeline so let me just place the end point of the movement object to one second in the timeline perfect and now let me just once again quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so this is what is happening on screen perfect perfect all right double click on the third image from the bottom place the cursor at the beginning of the image like this place the image outside the screen like this and go to add object go to movement click on movement and then click on ok now move your third image from its initial position towards the center of the screen like this now move the end point of the movement object from 8 seconds to 1 second in the timeline 
so let me just place the end point of my movement object at one second in the timeline perfect let me just see how things are looking this is my first image second image third image fourth fifth and sixth all right double click on the fourth image from the bottom place the cursor at the beginning of the fourth image like this place this fourth image outside the screen like this and then go to add object go to movement click on movement and then click on ok now move your fourth image from its initial position to this particular position right here on screen move the end point of the movement object from 7 seconds to 1 second in the timeline so let me just place the end point of the movement object from 7 seconds to 1 second in the timeline perfect perfect so here comes my first image second image third image fourth image fifth and sixth perfect double click on the fifth image from the bottom place the cursor at the beginning of the fifth image and now let me just place this fifth image right at this particular position outside the screen and go to add object go to movement click on movement and then click on ok now move this fifth image from its initial position towards the center of the screen like this and place the end point of the movement object from 6 seconds move the end point of the movement object from 6 seconds to 1 second in the timeline so place the end point at 1 second in the timeline perfect so once again let's see how things are looking first second third fourth fifth and the final one is the sixth one so double click on the sixth image which is present at the very top place the cursor at the beginning of the sixth image now let me just place the sixth image at let's say this position and go to add object go to movement click on movement and then click on ok now move the sixth image from this initial position towards the center of the screen right here and now move the end point of the movement object from 5 seconds to 1 second in the timeline perfect and we are done so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you let me also zoom in my screen so that it is clearly visible what is happening so this is what is what is happening on screen so here comes my first image second image third image fourth image fifth image and the final sixth image perfect so this is how you can create a cinematic slideshow in VSTC free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video Till then, thanks for watching.